Brian, in our industry, there's a lot of shops that have two or three technicians, maybe four. The owner is the service advisor. And and you're talking about a self-led team so that they can be absent from the business. And they can't even envision that. So I know you've learned a lot of things along the road. So what can you share with the people listening to this video about, hey, if Brian can do it, I can do it. So share wow. on, buddy. Yeah, Gary, you take me back with that question. That uh, I remember opening the doors to the business, and uh, I had yeah. I had a crew of three technicians working with me, um, and myself at the front counter. And uh, yep. I mean, I can remember literally. I was cleaning toilets. I was selling service. I was doing oil changes. I was every <laughs> position in that business, and at the same time, purging shelves because. We had inventory that was probably from the '60s, and uh, you know, this is just <laughs> just walking into a business that I, I purchased someone out from, and uh, and I, I remember, uh, gosh, and this this gets even better because uh, this particular location, I had an apartment upstairs, and uh, my wife to be says to me, she says, you know, you could you could get expenses down if you moved in, and uh, I don't I don't know if I recommend this one, but uh, <laughs> we did it for a few years, and. Uh -huh. You know, in in doing it, my whole life was encompassed with the business. Everything was there, yeah. and I mean, I woke up at five, I went down my stairs, and I was in the office. And if something needed yeah. to be done, I, I did it. And there was there was nothing I wasn't doing at that point in time. And I can remember answering the phone under a car, um, you know, probably changing an exhaust manifold. And as a matter of fact, the story I'm thinking of right now, I'm answering the phone. I'm working on a motorhome. And I'm doing an exhaust manifold on an E350. And and the phone rings. I grab it. And it's a, a person who works for me now. And uh, her name's Emily. And she's on the other line. And she's she's calling because she had heard that I was potentially looking for somebody to answer the phone. And I remember thinking to myself, and this is, you know, you can think about, you only know what you know. You don't know what you don't know. And yeah. at the time, the, the thought going through my head is, would I really pay somebody to answer the phone? I mean, I can do this just fine. You know, manifold in one hand, phone yeah, in the sure. other. Yeah, sure. Why not? You yeah. know, and, and it's just going to be another cost. And I said, you know, thanks. Thanks for the call. I'm, I'll get back to you in a day or two. And, uh, you know, hung the phone up, went back about my day. And, and the whole time I'm thinking, you know, what's this person going to do for me except cost me money? And uh, mm. I found myself calling her back two days later. I said, hey, Emily. Tell you what, why don't we why don't we bring you on site and uh, let's just let's see how you do for for the next day and uh, you know I'll pay you and I don't know at the time the wage is probably ten bucks an hour ten or twelve and uh, I'll pay you ten bucks an hour to be on site um, I'll let a little working interview and we'll we'll try it for two days and uh, I'm not gonna say I had an epiphany right then and there but what I'm gonna tell you is I realized I was getting more stuff done and that oh yeah in my head. She's just answering the phone, but she's doing a whole lot more. And mm -hmm. and and I began to notice that uh, the work I was doing was more efficient. Um, I was able to help her a little bit and begin to educate her as to how I thought things should run. And, and there were some lessons coming for me I wasn't even prepared for there. But I began to show her her ways to do it. I began to interface with my technicians better. And I, I just realized that I gained everything mm -hmm. around me that I didn't even know I was missing. And, and it really, it started with that first interaction. And, and I would say there was a, an element in that hire that she was the right person for that job and her ability to take responsibility. I didn't know it at the time is what began to open up more opportunity for me. And, you know, I, I think back to that, just, I, I smile because had I made a different hire with somebody who wasn't responsible, somebody who wouldn't take it, who knows might have taken me another five years to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. That's a great story. And thanks for sharing that because that's reality in our automotive world. We know shop owners that they, they do it so long and they just get so worn out. They, they can't think past where they are. So, Brian, thanks you for sharing that. And, folks, if you're listening to this, man, and you want to know how to get out of where you are, just contact us. That's all we ask you to do. 270-282-1262. Just give me a call. We'll talk about it. Maybe you're a candidate. Maybe you're not. 
but we need to find out. Just a quick phone call. Thank you.